is general reading this may or may not present okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below i have the cards uh, laid out in front of me to save time so we're gonna begin your reading all right, Libra, I like this. Your overall energy we see is the world with the two of cups. Wow, Libra. I think you need to give yourself a pat on the back and be proud of what you've accomplished. I think you've completed a financial goal. You may have worked really hard in order to reach your financial goals. And I think now is the time you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. I'm getting more like you've probably even paid off some debt or found security after saving, or you finally made that large purchase that you've saved up, saved up for, I think this is a good time for you to think about your long-term goals, okay? You could be having this feeling of wholeness, completion, okay? I'm getting you can, or you already are taking some time to understand how your finances will fit into the bigger picture of your life. I do see balanced finances, financial security, financially relaxed and a stable financial situation. But, but Libra, this still doesn't quite signal wealth. All right. This, none of these cards are wealth. They only indicate financial security for a period of time. So I wouldn't recommend you to treat this card as a sign of boundless fortune because this is, this card is rather about reliability. Okay. The two of cups, the twos always signal balance, okay? So it is likely that you'll have enough funds coming in to cover what you spend. Um, anyways, it's still advised to be wise with your money so that this period of stability will last, okay? If you spend out of your means or are reckless, there is no reason to believe those behaviors will not go unpunished, all right? So I'd say instead of spending, take a moment to remind yourself that you are not under any financial stress right now and that in itself is a reward, okay? If it's making sense, if I'm making sense. All right, let's see what happened in the past. All right. In the past position, we have the emperor with the six of wands. This is telling me that you were very, very, you were being very disciplined about your money. You probably felt the need to, to control and uh, to be controlled or to control, rather, be disciplined and responsible with your money, okay? You could be at a very good, good financial position in the past and your finances were in control. I think you had a very clear understanding of where your money was going. You could have literally had a budget and you stuck to it, okay? And like almost like checked in every month or so. But I think the attitude that you kept okay has led you to a good financial position in the past i think by virtue of this attitude you had this financial stability the financial rewards and it seems like you were in a very solid financial position okay it's all thanks to your dedication and you were very persevering okay uh this is all perseverance in times of trouble you could have been going through a lot of shit but you were very very persistent to get out of that trouble okay I think you probably enjoyed some peace and financial stability in the past. I'm getting people would have also appreciated you for the hard work you have put in and they could have even rewarded you, okay? I'm getting a lot of public recognition for you. You could have been catching a lot of attention from people for your achievements. You could have been even indulging in a little bit of moderation, but just be very careful not to be too overconfident, okay? Because the six of wands can sometimes make you a little egoistic, arrogant, and it can throw you off guard. And it, you can come out to be very, very egoistic, okay? So, yeah. It's just a warning that to embrace your success, okay? In the past, I think that's what you were doing. But, yeah, just not going overboard. So, yeah, the past looked really, really, really good, okay? You were in all full control of yourself. It's almost like you were bossing up and you, you regained control of your situation and things went really, really well in the past. Wow. In the current position, we have the strength with the king of wands. So yes, again, I'm seeing that you're being very, very enterprising right now. If you haven't, then this is coming into the current situation. I feel you're being very enterprising and very innovative, which is again, bringing in a lot of financial success to you. I think you're managing your money very well. You're likely to be in a very stable position and I think you can save if required, but you're also willing to spend when the time comes for it, okay? So you have like that balance here. 
And this balance is, I think, allowing you to even appreciate and protect your earnings. All right. And when it's the right time to spend, you're okay with spending it also. You're practicing good principles in short. Um, what I'm seeing is that you're maintaining this equilibrium. Okay. And your approach at this point could be saving money exclusively. All right. Which is a wise decision. But again, spending money particularly on others is more like a gesture of appreciation. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's a very nice thing to do. But again, you're in full control. You exactly know when to spend, when not to spend, when to um, help other people and when to hold back. I think you're wise enough, being wise enough to maintain this balance. You're trusting your judgments on investments and purchases. And uh, I think the stability and success that you're experiencing right now, it has the potential to be permanent. All right. Your good habits will sustain as long as you continue to actively practice them. Also, I'm getting with a strength here that uh, I think you've restricted your, all this is a good thing. And the good part out here is I think you've restricted yourself or more so like I'd say the word controlling. You're controlling yourself or you're restraining yourself from any impulsive spending, which you did in the past. Again, which is why you'll find yourself in a very comfortable, in a very comfortable position. All right, right now. It could have been very, very tough for you, but I think you finally learned to tame your impulsive decision is what I'm getting when it comes to your finances. Again, as long as you're controlling um, your spendings, you should be fine. You could even be ready to make some very bold moves in terms of your purchases, okay? I mean, but I mean, I literally find, see you finding the inner strength to hold back from making any purchase or investments with an emotional impulse. Okay. So I think you're using your logic this time. You're not wanting to jump in uh, emotionally. Okay. You're not making emotional choices. You're making very, very logical choices when it comes to investments or when it comes to purchasing anything big. Maybe earlier you probably uh, were, uh, you probably jumped in um, heart first. And you made a lot of emotional, impulsive choices, but you're holding back. You're completely restraining yourself from doing that, okay? You're finding that strength to hold on and you're trying to tame the situation, okay? You're trying to tame that um, negative pattern that you were probably stuck in. It's awesome. Um, let's see, what do we see? Um, let's see uh, the root of the issue. Okay, Let's see the reason for the reading or the root of the issue here, if there are any blockages or the root of the issue. I'm getting the seven of wands with the chariot in reverse here. So I think you're extremely skeptical right now or the reason for the reading or the root of the issue here, which you're probably experiencing, is that you're very skeptical, skeptical about having to make any financial decisions or deals or large purchases, okay? You could probably even feel you may have everything you need to, you know, you don't uh, have everything you need to know to make a very educated, well-informed decision, okay? I'm just getting more like you're too hesitant when it comes to making your money. I'm getting you're in a position to invest your money, all right? But you're, again, you're being very half-hearted or very unsure about taking action. And this is all because with the seven of wands, I think you're trying to protect your wealth and financial security. Okay. Although, let me tell you, your position is very, very stable right now. Okay. But it could be because of your past experiences, you know, where you have this inner knowing of how short lived stability can be, right? You're taking your steps to protect your earnings. Okay. And that's one of the reasons why you're being so hesitant on moving forward with your financial decisions. Again, very half hearted decisions, or you just feel, you know, you, you're constantly in the feeling that there's a lack in some information that you don't, you know, in making a decision. Either you feel you're not sure or you just feel that you don't know everything or you don't have all the information before you take a leave. And all this is, again, because your past experiences, you're being overprotective, okay, very defensive. But yeah, you're taking steps to protect your earnings right now, okay? I, this is the root of the issue. Or this is what is the motivation behind the reading. You're not going full throttle. You're not going full on and wanting to just go and take that leap of faith or like, you know, just move forward. You're holding your horses. Again, a lot of resistance from you. 
you could have jealousy around you so be careful about that so don't be surprised if people just eye your financial success okay and that could be one of the reasons why you don't want to literally come into the line like yet i still don't want to take that attention that you had in the past with the six of wands okay you probably want to be in the backstage All right. What you will be experiencing in the near future if things go on like this? We have the Five of Swords and the Four of Swords in reverse. I'm getting that there's going to be something that is going to be driving you completely overwhelmed with your financial burdens and you're heading for a burnout in the near future. Okay, you're going to be reaching a boiling point with the financial pressure. There may be a lot of tension that may be increasing, and you may start feeling very overburdened with the bills, etc. Okay. You may need to search for support in the near future. There may be people that can help you out, okay? But I'm getting that you're not going to be accepting that financial support despite having it. So the issue is that whether it is your partner, your family, or your friends, okay? You just feel the need to be extra cautious with your finances, especially when it comes to trusting others. I think you have trust issues, this is almost like you could be sabotaging your situation, okay? Because you're living in your mistakes. You could have made mistakes in the past, okay? But you're dwelling in your mistakes, okay? You're not simply learning from them and making better choices. You're staying there. You know, you're not learning from it. You may even feel that there may be people who are attempting to make more from you than they are owned or even they're taking advantage of you, okay? This is all in your thoughts. See this, the five of swords, see the crows here. There's constantly some or the other chattering going on in this person's ears. That's what's happening. That's a lot of mind chatter. But again, this is not anyone else. This is your thoughts. These are only your thoughts. Regardless, it's just, it does point out to finances being tight in the near future. Okay, So you may have to cut some luxurious expenses from your budget till your finances don't improve. But again, I don't still see you being ready to sacrifice those, okay? I'm getting a very egoic approach, you know, where you feel the need to win under any cost, you know, to be honest. But whatever it is, right? Not taking help from others or, you know, I'm going to make it on my own or again, having trust issues because you feel people are going to take advantage of you, etc. Although there is help available, but you're choosing not to. You're choosing to stay in that exhaustion mode. Your coping strategies with stress are extremely bad. So yeah, with that egoic approach, it's going to be an empty victory, all right? You're going to lose more in this battle than the people you've defeated. So you might want to rethink that attitude. All right, let's check out the last aspect of your reading, which is the best potential outcome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like seriously, whoever knows tarot will know what this is. Okay, so we have the best potential outcome, which is the Ten of Pentacles and the Sun card here. Everyone knows that Sun is the happiest card of the deck and the Ten of Pentacles is like big money, big money, guys, big money. So I'm getting that your financial situation may be very comfortable and rewarding, all right, as your potential outcome. You're going to have like this level of gratitude, abundance and happiness. But again, with the Sun here, the sun also shines light on things, right? So yeah, there are going to be a lot of things that are going to be visible and out in the open, okay? If you have any hidden debts, okay, they may be coming out in the open, so you may need to make room to cover them, if any. If there are any hidden factors related to your finances, they can or they will be revealed, okay? But I'm getting whatever is going to be revealed, right? It's going to make you very, very, very happy and abundant because with the Ten of Pentacles here, you can expect a sudden ex unexpected windfall of money, okay? It can be coming your way in the form of inheritance or just a lump sum of money, okay? But I'm getting it is going to be related to, uh, it's likely to come from a relative. You could even be, you know, setting up your financial future. You could be even putting together your retirement plan, building your savings, or even creating a will, all right? But in a general sense, wealth and money is coming from family. I'm getting a lot of family because Ten of Pentacles has to do with the family situation, okay? Something's coming in from family, okay? This is a lot of abundance and there's going to be clarity, okay? If there was something that was hidden, things are going to be revealed. There's going to be a lot of clarity in your situation, okay? A lot of abundance, positivity, uh, optimistic, optimism, gratitude, happiness, etc. Okay. So yeah, no matter what you're going through, your, your 
your um, best potential outcome looks fantastic. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoy this reading. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.